trinket. Hey there, geeks and gamers. It's everything to Guppy. I'm Will, and that's Gary. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. Like, rate, and subscribe. Bop that clit. <laughs> Gary, I'm so glad we gave everyone a chance to ring that bell before you said your famous catchphrase, your Kramer-esque <laughs> catchphrase. It's, it's what I like to think about when I think about ringing bells, if you know what I mean. And if I you don't know what I mean, I will explain it at length. Yeah. A big t-shirt, just BTC. And we all know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Bozo Bachman that clown. Turner, cover drive. My, my new band. Bachman Turner cover drive is a great name for a Bachman Turner overdrive <laughs> cover band. It's really good. The, uh, oh, <laughs> shit, dude. Hey, uh, before we get into this. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know me and you know how I, uh, I'm really plugged into, uh, the news and pop culture news specifically. Gary, you're the most plugged in person I know. You know everything about everything happening in the pop culture sphere if I tell you about it and you've begrudgingly agreed to know about it. Uh, I've been kind of following the news and I think it's it's <laughs> Big for, brags from Butterfield. It's I think it's time. I want to run this by you. That everything to Guppy makes a stand. Unless Okay, Spotify Gary, I agree. I agree. Gets rid I of think... Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, we get out of here. See, we Gary, I have a I had a similar thing I wanted to say. Okay. I, I am pledging right now, right here, yep. that we pull everything to Guppy off of all Pono music players. Yes. I love that Preach. lossless fidelity, but fuck it. Yeah. Hey, Gu- Guppy really does sound best as a, as a lock, lossless flack or something like that. You really got to be listening to this on a hi-fi. Like, you should probably be pressing this into a record. The and thing is, Gary. A, very fancy. Absolutely. Uh, but the thing is, Gary, it would just be hypocritical for either of us to come out against misinformation. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, I don't know, man. I've learned a lot about science from this show. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunately true. I've learned a uh, lot about tiny mouse guillotines. Yep. And, uh, and that you, you tortured them good. Yeah, I've learned about that time I had to uh, take a bunch of fruit flies out and put them under a microscope so I could look at their genitals. You had to sort them, too. I saw that in a Twitter thread. Yeah, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, because they're little. Gary, yeah. they got little dicks. Yeah, they, they got, man, they are they are so non-fictional. I, uh, Call back. I feel good about how big my dick is compared to a fruit fly's dick or how big it is compared to its entire body. Gary, given that I haven't felt good about anything in months, I am yeah. deeply envious. Yeah. Well, just uh, think about how big your dick is in comparison to a fruit fly's like entire family. Or in comparison to an extension cord. That's, hey, segue, segue, segue. It's 2022 and we got a new segue king in town. <laughs> I'm the segue segue. <laughs> I'm riding you into work. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, I don't think I'd last long as a mount. You don't think you'd last long as a mount? How about my shoulders? Uh, what if you my were shoulders a, real fucked up, dude. Like a flying mount or an epic mount. How would I fly? Um, or is that up to me to figure out? Probably intense flatulence. Okay, uh, I had to guess. Gary, real careful. You're coming very close to creating a very good video game. <laughs> Fart mount. <laughs> Flappy, farty will. Farty will. Just me riding you between Mario pipes. <laughs> controlling your flatulence feeding you a single metformin every time i need you to tune us up (laughs) oh gary uh i just looked on the google play store and there are eight million clones of farty will up already damn it damn it they move Uh, fast we'll try again next time yep okay hey mitch mitch you're not in this conversation (laughs) mitch well he was gonna be i was gonna be branded metformins i was feeding you to make you fart me into victory (laughs) that's fair uh, Everything to Guppy, board. the podcast literally brought to you by Met Foreman. It's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, it's, uh, if, hey, future warlords, if you're listening and society collapses, <laughs> you're going to want to corner the market on that shit. Get your own personal <laughs> podcasting fuckboys. You'll get some epic mounts because we need that Met Foreman. We sure do. Or insulin, <laughs> probably, but. Yeah, probably by then. Yeah. Gary, oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's extension stressful. cord. Yeah. I like this. Uh, it doesn't yeah, we do got tons. Three, we got three good trinkets this week, I would say. It, we really do. We really do, like, deceptively good. Uh, the next one, I think, is probably the strongest of them. Mm-hmm. This is also real good, though. Yeah, so uh, we'll explain what this does and then why it's super situational but cool when you have it. Yes. Uh, it creates, is an extension cord. It says yeah. charge friends when you pick it up. Yeah. 
basically, this creates uh, tethers between you and all of your familiars uh, that work the same way as like the various different electrical effects in the game. So if you have a familiar in between, or you have enemies in between you and a familiar, it gets zapped for, uh, what, decent damage? Yeah, uh, 7.5 per second. Is uh, that correct? No. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Uh, it's it's a decent amount of damage. Electricity in the game, this game feels pretty powerful. It always does, because it's any damage you can do without shooting is always yes. really nice. Yep, and this is the nature of uh, familiars is they're all up in your zone. Mm -hmm. so uh enemies get close to you they're more likely to get hit by this and it's what makes uh, 120 volt good which we talked about recently yeah Um, but this can also make uh crappy familiars uh better like quite good uh blue baby's only friend or whatever uh yes now you have just a mobile like drag line you can do to electrify anything in the in the room yes and any of the i love any of the far orbiting flies with this yeah real good like i every once in a while you get those runs where you get like two or three of the far the the orbiting flies i've had it with this and it's just very beautiful like, this is a lot great. of extra damage for a trinket yes and for no effort on your part whatsoever like yeah. if you're using if you, blue if, baby's only friend like yes but otherwise it's just damage that happens it's significant yeah. and you don't have to worry about it you just play yeah. the game it's it's completely useless if you have no familiars but if you yep. like this is a great lilith oh uh, yeah yeah, run Lilith with this. I've Maybe your f- gold. I've had some fun uh, things with um, the uh, you know anything that allows you to get two trinkets, and this with duct tape, because Ooh, yes. then you you set your your perimeter basically, and uh, yeah, electricity is constantly going between it like an electric fence. Yeah, it turns uh, Isaac into a tower defense game. Isaac Tower Defense, Gary. Yeah, thinking about that. I, I think we might have proposed that way back when, when we did our different uh, sins episode. I, I wish we like had. I, if we didn't, we should have because that's really good. Um, the uh, did you ever play back in the early days? Like when I just had an iPod mm-hmm. and a Pono, of course, for music. Um, yeah, we all the, had Pono. Yeah, when back in back in we knew we had Pono, Hope, White People, <laughs> and Stills. Uh, and Meatloaf, Stills, uh, Nash. The, I have a story uh, about Meatloaf. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, but uh, there's a Square was just making up bullshit for iOS and uh-huh. they made a, a Final Fantasy tower defense game that used Final Fantasy job classes as towers oh, that kind of worked. Uh, yeah, like, that totally sounds workable. Yeah, it was real weird. I don't think you can play it now. I think it's like long gone the weird annals of history. But I found that iPad or iPod God, a long time mobile ago. Mobile fucking gaming has been the worst for curation. <laughs> It's it's awful. Like you just you're Shit missing just stuff. Disappears. My old iPod when I found it, it was amazing because I had uh, there's like a port of Metal Gear Four that doesn't have <laughs> it replaces every gameplay section with a shooting gallery, but okay. just shows all the cutscenes and stuff. Gosh, um, that's for someone. Yeah, it's I I don't know why I bought it. I never I haven't played it to completion. I just poked it. And I was like, oh, I hate Metal Gear Four. That's um, very funny, Gary. You buying that is extremely funny. It was I was hard up. For just something to play on my new little toy. <laughs> I just you know? want I just want a way to experience as many Kojima cutscenes <laughs> yeah. as possible. I think I was just Me, amazed Gary that, Butterfield. It, well, ten years ago. Like I think I think I was also just amazed that Konami was putting games on it. Mm. Like I also had the Silent Hill game for it that's horrible and like also bespoke and weird. Um yeah, it's my very take on mobile bizarre. stuff is that the closer you get to a big publisher, the worse the game is gonna be. That that is actually true. Like there's stuff that came out then that I still have on my phone now. Like that's coming. Like Jetpack Joyride is coming back, and that was a yeah. game from back then. And that's a good game, you know. But yeah, nobody's Jet- talking I, about I mean, sliding heroes. Everybody's you know? talking about Vampire Survivors. Yeah, yeah. Have not played yet. Sitting there waiting for me to play it today before I, band practice. As I said on Twitter, it's got like the the unlock economy, and that is is real choice. <laughs> nice. I'm I'm excited, and I just I theming. I like vampires. I mean, it's it's literally Castlevania. It's it's. Oh, that's phenomenal! Every, everything is a Castlevania joke. That's great. I love uh, Castlevania. Uh, if people love us, Gary, you know, real quick, rank rank all the Castlevania games. Rank them all. Yeah. Ooh, are we are we counting spinoffs and shit like? Yeah. Lost Judgment and the fighting games. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Two part question. Can I pull up a wiki? No, all from memory. Okay. 
be real weird if you said yes. It, it does feel like it's violating the spirit of the troll if you just be like, sure, I don't care. <laughs> violating the spirit of the troll is such a fucking guppy ethos. Um, all right. Uh, number one for me, uh, still probably Start from the bottom of the night. Start from the Start bottom. From the bottom. Yeah. Um, the, the titty fighting game with art from Full Metal Alchemist. Okay. That's real bad. Uh, the first Game Boy game. Okay. Um, then probably is that, the, is that the Castlevania Adventure or is that one of the Castlevania Legacies? I can't remember which what the suffix is. There's like one that's good and one that's bad. The first okay. one is the bad one. Um, and then they got a little bit better. Uh, then I'm gonna put. Uh, weirdly enough, I'm gonna put the PS2 hallway whippers. Okay. Uh, ahead of the Nintendo 64 games. I think those games are okay, powerfully boring. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, games the, are the hallway whippers are at least like competently made, like clones of like God of War. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're like they're so boring though. Like you, you except you, you're only in hallways. Yeah, like T shaped hallways. Um, then I'm gonna put the weird Xbox Live Arcade one where it's multiplayer and really zoomed out. Yeah, Harmony of something. Yeah, it's not Harmony Harmony of Dissonance, I think, but it's. A, Fuck God! The naming convention is also very bad. Yep. Gary, where do you put the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang? Uh Twisted Tales of Spike McFang is coming next. Okay, cool. Uh, then I might. Uh, boy, wait, is there the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang and a Kid Dracula game? Am I? No, there. There's both. Kid Dracula okay. is a Game Boy game that's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, that's that's much higher on the list. Okay. Um. After that, oh, be very clear. The Twisted Tales of Spike McFang is not actually in the Castlevania canon. I think Kid Dracula is. Oh yeah, uh, Kid Dracula is, and uh, so is like the weird MSX computer, you know, Dracula No Castle, Akanutsu, or something like that. Gary is Kid Dracula's pseudonym Alucard Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, if people enjoy Kid, this show, what should they do? Kid Dracula's pediatrician, like, looking up from a subscription <laughs> bed and realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the kind of joke you should go viral for. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't talk about that on good, the show. good, Will. Will, that is very, that is excellent. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's the, I'm going to tell <laughs> that joke to another person. I'm going to tell that joke to Derek. He's going to laugh at it, too. Another quote person. Yeah, that's how and that's how you're gonna that's how you know you made it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, really when funny. imaginary friends are yeah. finding out. That joke is good. It's Derek good. Ooh. Um whose whose thing right now is just Google or image searching naked M Ms and saying them to me. So there's this green M Ms with increasingly bizarre and engorged genitals that I just keep waking up to pictures of. So uh if people like the show, go to patreon.com slash duckfeed TV. M Ms are uh, already naked. With genitals though. Okay, like not so it's, M&Ms, naked. it's not naked M and M's. It's M and M's with genitals. It's M and M's without the shell. Really? And then under the shell, uh, various exaggerated genitals. I, I want to be. I, I need. I, I I need to break the kayfabe for a second. Are you being <laughs> serious that they yes. don't have the shell? Yeah. Like, well, it, it depends. So he sent me a lot. Uh-huh. Uh Most of them don't have the shell. There are some that have the shell and just have genitals, like on the outside of their clothes, like Rebel Wilson in uh cats but some of them like a lot of them are shellless is the idea they take off their shell and their human genitals under there amazing yeah and hot is uh, it all greens or is it you get it's all green yellow in there okay it's all greens because of the recent uh controversy of course sure but you're not he's not slipping in an occasional <laughs> red I, he'd have to he'd have to be the change you want to see in the world i feel like yeah. uh for that who do you uh, think's got a bigger dick red or yellow oh yellow J.K. Simmons. Yeah, he's got that like sad Brad Garrett energy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's. I think it's J.K. Simmons who has that voice, and J.K. J.K. Simmons has to be packing the heat. Gary, I don't think I I've ever met li- a man with bigger dick energy. We've we've we're passing the fifteen minute mark. We can't litigate this incredibly important topic in this episode. What should I, people do if they like the show? Tell me I'm wrong. I go to patreoncom <laughs> slash TV. I'm right about that. I'm wrong about many things. I'm right about this. I'm sure. Uh, and then uh, really, leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. Uh, like this one left by Bro Renown. Uh, also sometimes known as Everything to Puppy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this message is for Jabrader. Jabrader, Alan's Yellow Snakes absolutely taste like original mother. And that was a five-star review from Boberdam. Very oh, confusing. Oh, shit, Gary, I haven't been recording. End podcast. 
And that was a five star review for Bober Down. Oh, uh, that's good. Got me there. Because that's yeah. that's the worst thing that you could ever possibly hear in life. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that is a, a murder phrase. That's podcaster's bane. Good night. Good night.